but just a few meters from here, you enter the blasting sites. And as you can see, I mean, serious mining op operation is going on here. And this is what the community has been complaining about. Few meters away from the Mensin mines are hundreds of homes. Bibiani Zongo and Old Town lie within the operational areas of the mining firm. Blasting operations have left marks on most of the occupied structures here. Studies have shown people living close to mining sites are exposed to health hazards. One of such hazards are respiratory complications generating from the blast. Toxic particles are normally inhaled by these residents or individuals living in such communities. Hundreds of homes have already been earmarked for demolition. However, promises of resettlement is yet to be fulfilled by the Mensin mine, according to residents. Over 250 years in Edi Chikruma. Now, mines in the buyer won't pay for Honum. I checked so my young him for. You couldn't hear your corner. One in our demand and say, Yan Hia, a soldier for be with you. You know, my Hinesia, your catcher and say, Yan Hia, a soldier for be with you. No crown so say. We have been living here for over 200 years now. Any time we fight for a right, we are threatened. If persuasion fails, force must to apply. <laughs> On Sunday, youth agitation escalated. A face-off with the military left six people injured after they were allegedly hit by a stray bullet. One of the victims is still battling for his life at the Bibiani Government Hospital. The relationship between Mensin Mine and Bibiani Old Town has been a frosty one. Presiding member for Bibiani and Yasubekwai municipality, Kwame Asamwa believes the mine has to correct the fractured relationship. It's not magic. It's if you have a good relationship with your people, when you talk to them, they will listen to you. A management member of the Mensin Mines, Emmanuel Edu, declined comments when the news team reached him on his phone for a reaction. William Evans Incom, TV3 News, BBNE, Western North Region.